arrows of God. An orphanage home that should be looking after babies, now selling them to the highest bidders. Partially. Thank you. Okay, this place. Not many have heard about it or think it is possible. Because he's in Abuja, I'm in Lagos, and I'm traveling. I'm traveling tomorrow. No, I'm traveling out of the country. Maybe I just follow her. Okay, come inside. For 19 months, I have been tracking a popular Christian orphanage said to be selling babies under the table for huge sums of money. After two failed attempts, I found a wife with whom I went to the orphanage home to claim I was childless. They look for you, look for you, Kaya. <laughs> like How are you, my dear? Very fine. You're welcome. Yes. You're welcome, bro. Thank you. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. My findings will confound you. An orphanage home that has received support from public figures. An orphanage home where you won't spend five minutes without being offered prayers or Bible passages. Thank you. Thank you. Indeed, sold me a baby without verifying who I really was. They did this with the collusion of the police and the judiciary. We never showed up in court or the police station, but we got court and police documents. That's her name. This is when we gave her. Yeah. Yes, yes, we are there. Yes. That's correct. Yes. 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 And it cost two million naira. My name is Fisayo Shoyombo. I'm the publisher of an investigative and social justice newspaper, the Foundation for Investigative Journalism, FIJ. More importantly, I am a field man, a pen soldier with a passion for telling the most difficult stories. I once slept five nights in a police cell and lived as a prison inmate for eight days undercover without committing an offense just to track corruption and malfeasance in Nigeria's criminal justice system. This time, I investigated and courted a Lagos-based Christian orphanage until they led me to their Anambra outlet, where I picked up a five-month-old baby in exchange for cash. I named her Oriade because I imagined she was predestined to be great in life. My undercover wife named her Uchechuku, that is, God's will. It is a story that began with a tip off in December 2021. Back then, a baby at Arrows of God cost 1.5 million naira. In Nigeria, infertility is a serious problem. A cheap but complicated and deeply frustrating process in Nigeria. In November 2022, my undercover wife and I applied to the Lagos government for a child. Apart from a text message the following month, nothing has happened in the following seven months. Nothing at all. One woman who applied to the Lagos government ended up wasting several years of her life without result. My sister-in-law advised that I only want to go for adoption while I'm still believing God as a Christian. And the, the, when we try to we applied to the government in 2016. Okay. And uh, for two years, it took like two years before we were called. After submitting. 
So even when they now called us, coming and coming, sending us to the hospital, a lot of things. It was eventually in 2000. Last year, before May, March, before we eventually got the letter to adopt. So it took us like four years. People like me and her are left with no option but to turn to the likes of Reverend Lieutenant Cornell D.C. Ogo, retired, the founder of Arrows of God of Nage. This was our first conversation on January 17, 2022. All right. Now, today is Monday. Now, I know there's a little bit of um, challenges going on in the East right now. It's in the East that we are going to get this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, ma. Ma, you never know that I'll be going back at the end of the month. Okay, ma. Can you call me back by next week? Next week, towards the end of the month. Eh? Okay, ma. Then I'll tell you what to start with. Her. Okay, ma. The important thing that you have somebody is your mother is at the Yes, ma. And you have an address in the Yes. So when you call me, I will tell you what to do, how to go about it. Okay, ma. Uh, On Friday, November 4, 2022, after several months of unanswered calls, we pay a second visit to the Lagos location of Arrows of God, of Okinira Nla Road, Aja. Oluchi Onye, a female attendant, tells us Reverend Ogo's phone is bad. To ensure she talks to us, we buy her a new phone. Techno Spark 9 that cost us 133,700 naira. The talks progressed at a rapid pace afterwards. When we returned to deliver that phone we bought, the attendant gave us a list of items to provide. We produced all these documents. On their insistence, we paid the registration fee of 25,500 naira to a POS account. Onuchi Onye then assures us that work would commence immediately. Once we hear them, we'll run. Okay. But you remove your slippers like this, wrong. You go go there. Mm. Don't you have your husband? Yeah. When you tell us. Okay. You go there. Which, that's an unbreast or? Yes. Okay. When you tell us, you go there. Okay. Yes. But she, I know she will give you the right. Amen. That's what it is. Whether it's bold, whether it's scared. But you and your husband will decide. But what will you tell her? Don't say, what? Whether it's bold, mama, whether it's scared. I'm looking for it. Because at times, they go and do their own problem. God, you could be what drag they go. Just to prepare yourself. Okay. They prepare yourself. Don't look at man or woman. Because by the time you will catch up now, all the stress will be just like ordinary men. Okay. After the stress now, once the baby is baby now, mm -hmm. once the baby enters your hand, that's all. You are done, you are done. The baby has become your own. You can travel uh, with the child. There is some legalization. That's all. After the legalization, the baby, you can go anywhere with your child. Nobody, nobody will harass you. That is why it's good to, to adopt from a registered orphanage. You understand? So, the right step to I like that faith, yes, that we did what that we tried. It's just like one work with a lawyer some time ago. As the lawyer came, we are talking about school fees. Someone, you know, said the work class, which they just took up the school fees of mama. Immediately, the team will reach how many days they become king of that color. Stay down. As we are saying now, Oh, we can before the end of this year. We are there. We are coming. So this is not a lie. All the way to the bridge. On Friday, 
June 2, my wife woke up to 11 missed calls from a strange number. Our baby was ready. After paying 2 million naira and waiting 6 weeks for our documents to be processed. My wife and I traveled to Arrows of God of Niche after Unkweli Express in Oyi local government area of Anambra on Thursday, July 6. All through the journey, Reverend Ogo's right-hand man refuses to give us an exact address, instead offering us directions in bits. We have followed that the place where there is a signboard of Arrow of God. We have followed the signboard. We don't climb that up place. We have seen signboard, we don't enter. We've seen the signboard, we don't enter. Why did you do like this? Now you said if you come meet us, you just leave us for here. Why did you do like this now? Where is this of Alice with you? Eh, I don't find it Okay, yeah. Oh, I'm What did he say? He just said, I'm missing my sample. I'm missing my sample. We eventually pull up in the middle of nowhere, something like a forest. Show me all that, all these things, man. She grew up in our face, so quick. This is where we are. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. It's part of. The deceit. So how do you extract the people? The so what distance? Is it just accept? No. What is what distance? We the drunk. What? We came with one here. Good are you Monday? No. Thank you. Is my mama around? So that guy went out and I found they say you get there in 10 minutes or 10 minutes. Yes, I do too. Thank you. Thank you. After waiting for some minutes, Reverend Ogo joins us. How are you? Very you're welcome. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. She hands us the adoption documents. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Honey. This one. Okay. 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 I ask her if the real mother of the girl will ever disturb us. Yes, ma'am. Oh, no. I want to ask one question. One. So this is where I will die later. Mm -hmm. Oops. 
it's not like they use some time to try to stop us. Let's look at it. It should go and reflect on this. To this. To the number of state courts. That's all. What's that like? And every body should go to the next week. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, we are there. Yes, it's, it's, it's correct. Then she brings the girl. And hands her over to us physically. Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna take her maybe. Suspiciously discourages us from returning to Lagos by air. Uh, I think we should go by road. Yes. Chat mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. Can't. Finally, she sends us out with prayers. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Man. Is it not from here to the car? People like Reverend Ogo thrive because the government complicates what ought to be a simple process. They happen to get a wish for an airplane that they have a station from above that they have, they have a couple up there that they want to pay it. So, even when you offer to pay much, maybe at least it's less than millions on it. So, if we don't say the new one, we will not mind. Mm. Going ahead, but maybe they have their candidates over there too. So, in all the orphanages, the government knows the number of children that have their duty, that their government children, so they have no right to connect or to mm. say this who they want to give it to. So, they made the people that want to go to the right way, they made it very somehow fasting and difficult. And a lot of people are, are going through the other way and they are having it fast. It's just because we made up our minds, okay, we rather help other people's children than going through that illegal way, maybe because of what we've experienced. When I returned to Arrows of God in Lagos on a thank you visit, Oluchi Onye told us we could even come back for more. Uh, that's my wife and her. You know, 
women to women. It's an easy conversation for them. Mm. I'll try to do that later today. Later today. I know you have your Yes, I know. I may even know somebody else that wants. You see, so you have, you have made a way for that person. Mm. Do you understand? However, there are many unanswered questions. Who is Victoria Onoja Anita, the supposed mother of the baby? Did she really voluntarily give the baby up for adoption or was she coerced into it? Is Arrows of God Anambra a baby factory as it bore no sign of an orphanage? Why did LSC Uzondu, the Chief Magistrate of Nnewi Magisterial District Court and Okoro Joy Obiageli the Assistant Chief Registrar won, signed court papers showing my wife and I were in court when we never were.